What's going on, guys? I am Switters. Welcome back to the channel. And what you're listening to and watching right now is an insert that I put in after the video that is following this. It's coming up just added on to the end of this. I had seen that the Halloween event was back on Outbreak. And that's where they put their little sign that says new, like, check it out. So I, I thought it was only Outbreak. And I was like, no, let me check to make sure if it's on round based as well. So I hopped in D machine, as you can see right here. Halloween event is back for round based as well. So jump in, have a great time. It's both Outbreak and round based. It's a lot of fun, a little something extra for us as zombies players that we haven't got anything for over a year now. So they kind of owe us. All right, anyways, check out the video. Thanks, guys. What's going on, guys? I am Switters. Welcome back to the channel, and I'm going to keep this one brief because you're probably going to want to hop into this. A little great news here for us uh, Zombies fans of Call of Duty. The Halloween event in Cold War is back. You can play it, as I just showed you on the menu there, you can play it either four-person or you can, if you're playing solo, you can scroll down all the way to the solo section and find Hollow's Eve Outbreak over there. Um, so it's a little Halloween outbreak. There might be some more coming for us later in the month who knows i'm not really sure kevin drew posted on twitter a little while ago like hey maybe a little something for Kev by the way if you don't know kevin drew works at treyarch he works on zombies over there he's like hey maybe a little something for us uh, zombies players or i don't know something along those kinds of lines so i was like oh shoot let me hop on and check it out so i jumped on cold war real quick saw it nice shiny new little symbol next to it with hollow's eve or whatever it's called you know like oh i'm, I'm gonna get in that and here I am, I just played in a random lobby with four other people, uh, three other people. And then, you know, here we got the pumpkin heads coming up to us, and then, boom! It was a lot of fun. It's, a, it's something to switch things up, and it makes things a little bit more fun. Um, so, jump on and check it out. I, there's nothing to really give away. Basically, you survive for ten minutes. Uh, some of these zombies that you shoot, their pumpkin heads fall off their head. But sometimes a, a pumpkin head will fall off of a guy's head, or they drop it. You can interact with it. You can get it like a, a bronze chalice out of it. You can upgrade it. That makes it your gun pack a punch to level one. I think I get one over here right uh, at this wall. I think I'm going to find a, a pump right there. The pumpkin drops. So we open that and get some armor out of it. And sometimes you can get level two armor out of it. And the, the further you go, the more stuff you can get. But you can still go over like normal to go to the pack a punch. You can spend your points there. You can still go to the uh, Perca-Cola machine, well, whatever they call it, the Wonder Fizz on, on these maps, um, in Outbreak. I mean, I know what Wonder Fizz is. I'm saying on Outbreak, it's the Wonder Fizz. You don't get individual perk machines on Outbreak. So anyways, the Wonder Fizz, you can hop over there, spend your points, get some, you know, uh, Jug, Speed Cola, whatever you like. PhD is always fun in Outbreak to use. So anyway, just hop on, have a little bit of fun. It's a little something for us uh, zombies people. I mean, we, we've had nothing to, you know, go on for over a year now, so... Um, this is kind of a nice little bump for us the little little get a little something extra but anyways check it out let me know what you think have a great time